Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. Ever since I posted my first video tutorial using Dragonfly Glaze, I have gotten tons of questions. And the one that I want to deal with today is this question from Becky Murphy asking about the differences between Dragonfly Glaze and Color Shift Paint, another paint that I've used before on this channel. So let's get into it. In addition to telling you about the differences between these two products from Plaid, I'm going to show you the differences as well. I chose a teal color from each of the two lines. So I chose the blue to green to violet shift from Dragonfly Glaze and the aqua flash paint from the color shift line. I'm going to show you how they look over a tile that's been painted black and over a tile that's been painted with a teal acrylic paint that's very close in color to the pigments used in these two formulas. Whenever you work with either of these two products, you want to make sure that you give the bottle a really, really good shake before you start working with the paints. You want to make sure all those pigments are fully incorporated throughout all the base of the paint. So first off, you can see that when I pour a little bit of the Dragonfly Glaze into my paint tray, it comes out looking white. And if my lights, my studio lights weren't quite so bright, you would see a little bit of the color shifting pigment in that white base as well. When you apply the Dragonfly Glaze, you can see that milkiness kind of starts to go away and you begin to see the color shifting. I shouldn't call them that. <laughs> you should, you begin to see the pigments of the Dragonfly Glaze that will change depending on the angle from which you're viewing them. You can also see that the pigments have kind of a wide spread. And what that means is you can see the base color of the black tile through the base of the Dragonfly Glaze. That's why they call this on the Plaid website a top coat. It's not meant to be a paint. It's not meant to opaquely cover whatever you're applying it to. It's meant to be a top coat over another color. You can see as I am tilting the tile that that first coat, there is a bit of color shift in those pigments already in the Dragonfly Glaze, even though it hasn't dried down yet. Now I'm going to work with the Aqua Flash Color Shift, and again, you have to begin by giving it a really good shake. When I pour a little bit of the Color Shift paint into my paint tray, you can see the difference between these two products right away. Color Shift is an actual paint. It's an opaque paint, and when I apply it to the tile, you can see that it begins to cover up that black undercoating of paint. It's far more pigmented and um, it has more of a metallic finish, whereas the Dragonfly Glaze has more of a shimmering finish. So those are the two big differences between Color Shift Paint and Dragonfly Glaze, and that is the pigment spread, which allows one to serve as an opaque paint and one to serve as a top coat. The other difference is that one has a metallic sheen and the other has a shimmering sort of gloss finish to it. Now again, this is just after one coat and you can see that neither of them are without streaks. And that is a complaint that I have seen in feedback from some of you guys. Uh, I give you some of my tips for how to work with color shift paint in this video that I'm going to link up in the corner here. Later on in the video, I will link to the video where I talk to or I talk about how to work with the Dragonfly Glaze to eliminate as much of that streakiness, as many of those brush strokes as possible. Okay, here you're seeing me apply a second coat to my tile. I allowed the tile to dry in between coats, but because I'm impatient, I used a hair dryer instead of letting it fully cure. So I just want you to know that you may have very, very slight differences in your results if you're more patient than I am and you let them fully dry, air dry between coats rather than use hot air like I did. Chances are, if you're more patient, you'll have even better results than I do. So this is what one or one coat of the color shift looks like and two coats of the dragonfly glaze. Now I'm going to apply a second coat of the aqua flash color shift paint. 
What this should do is it should start to eliminate some of those sheerer areas like you can see that I'm covering right now with my brush. Once you put a second coat of the Color Shift paint onto your project, you should have very little of the under color showing through that opaque paint coverage. Once you get into multiple coats of these two products, you can really see the difference between Dragonfly Glaze and the Color Shift paint. While they have similar colored pigments, they have a much different finished look. I'll even zoom you in nice and tight so you can see what those pigments look like up close. I really tried to give you a good view of what the Dragonfly Glaze looks like from different angles. It's a lot harder under studio lights to show you the change in color from violet to blue to green than it is in person. You have to just trust me that in real life it's a more distinct difference. The Color Shift paint has more of a metallic finish. So it kind of goes from a silver to aqua instead of going from one distinct color to another distinct color. And then just to be thorough, I gave each side of the tile a third coat. The left side got a third coat of the Dragonfly Glaze and the right side got a third coat of the Color Shift. So you can see what it looks like when I have maximized my efforts to remove brush strokes and streakiness. I have also been asked if you can use Dragonfly Glaze mixed in with other paints or on top of other paints. Well, I don't recommend mixing it in with other paints because it would just really dilute that pigment. You can definitely use it over other colors and I wanted to show you what that looked like as well. This is what the Dragonfly Glaze and the Color Shift paint look like with two coats on top of a teal color that's really close to the color of the pigments contained within those two paint varieties. As you can see, the Dragonfly Glaze gives it sort of a shimmery effect and the Color Shift has that same metallic sheen. When I compare it side by side with the tile that had been painted black, you can see that the finishes are similar, it's just a different color showing through. I will say that the Dragonfly Glaze on top of a colored paint loses quite a bit of the dramatic color to color shift. So while it looks a little bit shimmery, you don't get the violet to blue to green shift that you do when using it over a black or a white paint. I hope that answered some of your questions about Dragonfly Glaze and how it stacks up against the Folk Art Color Shift paint. If you have any more questions about these two products, how to use them, where you can find them, please leave them in the comments below. If I don't know, I will find out for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, madandcrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!